This is Cook and Chisel Strength Workout A. There are four exercises. You'll do one exercise on the minute, every minute, resting the remainder of each minute before moving on to the next move. You'll then rest a minute after doing all four exercises. That's one cycle that takes five minutes. You do six total cycles for a 30 minute workout. Here are the exercises. In minute one, we're gonna hold a front plank for 30 seconds and then rest the remainder of that minute before moving on to the next exercise. The base front plank, we're gonna get into this position, take ice picks, jam them into the floor. The eyes and fists are aligned, the feet are blocked together. Squeeze your legs together, pull your elbows tight to the ribs, crunch the abs, clench the glutes, tense the thighs, and tuck that chin. Straight line, head through heels, a good 30 second hold. Now, to make this more difficult, we go to level two, a one-legged plank, then from there, level three, a one-arm plank. In that case, you'll hold each one for 15 seconds. Start with the base, build from there. Let's move on to the next movement. In minute two, you're gonna do 10 reps of the goblet squat, and then rest the remainder of that minute before moving on to minute three. The key focus here, weight should be underneath the hips, feet about hip to shoulder width apart with a slight toe flare, kind of screw the feet into the floor, clench the glutes. I have a special way I like to set this up. I come down, I push my knees out to help brew that good squat pattern. And what I'm gonna do is use my legs and hips, pull the chest up, and pull the weight right to the chest rib cage area. Retract the shoulders to cue that good posture. And all we're gonna do is sit tall and then push the knees out and lower to ideally to the point where our hip crease is slightly beneath the knee crease. Pause for a brief second, explode up. 10 good reps, stay tall, rock it out, and then move to the next exercise. For minute number three, you're gonna do the one arm floor press for five reps on each side. Now what I want you to do is grab the dumbbell like this, get in a fetal position, roll onto your back, pull the heels tight to your body for good stability and support. Use both arms to extend and keep that shoulder down into the ground. And what we're gonna do is really retract the shoulders, keep the abs crunched. You're gonna get a little extension in the lower back, not too much. And then I want you to pull the weight down until the tricep will rest for a brief count on the ground. Punch up, control it down, punch up. Really keep that chest proud, abs crunched tight. You're gonna do five reps on each side. Rest the remainder of that minute, then move on to the next exercise. For minute number four, we're gonna do five reps on each side of the kneeling one-arm row. This really auto-corrects your rowing mechanics. So what I'm gonna do is get one hand down on the ground, cue the chest, kind of push down hard into the floor. Don't be soft with it, create tension. I'm gonna grab the dumbbell, keep my hips and shoulders square to the ground, pull the weight to the point where my arm is at 90 degree angle. Not too far so that it rounds forward, chest stays up, lower in control. Five good reps, hold that top position for just a count. And after doing that fourth movement, you will get a full minute of rest. That's one cycle to six total for a 30 minute workout. Yo, we thought you were done. We got an optional finish here, 10 minutes of alternating step ups, simple as it sounds. You're gonna do as many good reps as you can, focusing on quality and good range of motion. The key focus on step ups, you wanna make sure we got a good active hinge at the hip with a nice flat back position. And you wanna keep that front chin as vertical as you can. I'm gonna step up, get opposite arm leg mechanics going. I'm gonna keep switching sides and continue for 10 straight minutes. This is what I call metabolic mobility. Gonna boost metabolism, get mobile, get strong. Great way to finish off the workout. Let's see if you have what it takes.